second of our quarterfinal matches of the academic challenge. We have Ridgefield from Fairfield County, Connecticut, facing off against Irvington from Westchester County in New York. Good luck to both schools. This sound means you're right. This tone incorrect, and this sound the end of each quarter. Each team enters with a 3-0 and record. Good luck. Your first question is worth five points. One-time slave Crispus Attucks is considered by many to be the first American to die. Boston Massacre. That's what we're going for in the fight for independence during what incident did he give his life? For 10 points, a dish prepared a la jardiniere is served with a variety of vegetables. Of vegetables, two in a row for Keith. For five points, the following terms are used in what industry? Hump shunting, buffer stop, standard gauge, double heading. Davis. Railroads. And gondola car, yes. For 10 points, which gangster built the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas to legit... Bugsy Siegel. Legitimize his so-called business interests. For five points, I have a visual question for you. Combine the names of these two celebrities and tell me what... Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. That's what Professor, Professor Marvel consulted in The Wizard of Oz, and Richfield is now on the scoreboard. For 10 points, which oil company bought Getty Oil in 1984 in one of the largest business... Richfield Frank. Exxon. Business mergers in history. Do you know Irvington? Joe. Shell. No, it's Texaco. <laughs> For five points, in 1993, Turkmenistan replaced which unit of currency with the manat? Richfield Key. The ruble? The ruble, sure. Five points more for Ridgefield. For ten points, looks like a multiple choice question. A lumen is a measure of chemical energy, force of gravity, emission of photons. Richfield Frank. Emo emission of photons. Is right. Ten more and Ridgefield is coming back. For five points in 1992, in which country did thousands of Hindus destroy? India. In less than six hours, the 16th century, Mosque of Babar. For five points, I have a music question for you. Name the only winner of the Miss America pageant to have a number one song. Irvington Emily. Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams. Ted Berlin, Jerry, can we hear a little bit of that? Thanks. <laughs> All right, now a 10 point question. Multiple choice, which king was suspected of killing his two young nephews? Irvington, David. Richard III. Right, to gain the throne, Richard III. I have a five point math question for you. Find the area of a square having a perimeter of 60 feet. Irvington, Key. 900 square feet. Richfield, Frame. 225 square feet. 225 is right, ring it up for Richfield. For 10 points, when Kennedy and Nixon campaigned for the presidency in 1960, why did they ignore the citizens of Washington, D.C.? Richfield, Jim. Um, they weren't allowed to vote. They were not at that time. That's correct, Jim. For five points, which of the following was not one of the regions that unified into modern Italy? Croatia, Tuscany. Richfield, Dan. Croatia. Croatia is right, and Richfield has come back to tie the score at 45. I have a five-point visual question. How do you spell the name of this country? Irvington Joe. C-O-L-O-M-B-I-A. Is right, and Irvington back in the lead. For 10 points, Irish Republicans began a rebellion against British rule on which holiday in 1916? Richfield Frank. Easter. Easter is right. And on the last question of the first period, uh, Richfield, for the first time in the match, takes the lead. We'll check the score, return, meet the players, and resume play with questions and answers. By the time I was seven, I was already getting high. When I was 13, I was stealing to get drugs. I used PCP, paint thinner, glue, anything to get me high. But Dan got help at a drug treatment program. They got help from United Way. All because United Way got help from you. Today I'm back in school and I have a real future. Thanks for giving me another chance. United Way. Helping where help is needed most. Thanks for staying with us. We're back for more of the Academic Challenge. We will now meet the players, starting with Irvington High School. And a, a captain, Emily Gold, 
a senior her second year on the team. She's editor of the literary magazine. She plays varsity tennis. She's a volunteer tutor. She'll be attending Yale University, and she enjoyed Latin at Irvington High School. David Brazil is next. David's a junior minister in the Universal Life Church, mail order, enjoys poetry and literature, especially science fiction. He has two works for role-playing games pending publication and has a short story accepted to a literary journal. And he regrets not taking Latin. Now we turn to Joe Edelman, super frosh. He enjoys music, plays in the band, uh, clarinet and tenor sax and jazz ensemble, sings in the men's ensemble, and he wishes to be president one day so that he can make Latin the national language. And let's see, we have Keith Berman, a junior, plays the baritone horn. All-state area musician, varsity soccer and tennis player, and loves languages, French, Spanish, and of course, Latin. Their alternates, Hugh Ryan and Greg Wong, their coach, Michelle Sella, the Latin teacher. That's the team from Irvington High School. <laughs> Enters this game with the highest point total of any quarter finalist. Now, Ridgefield High School from Connecticut. Meet Dan Joffrey, born in Poland, where he lived with a, a kind of family of bears until the age of four. He moved to the U.S. and formed the uh, <coughs> Che Guevara Memorial Church. Prem Krishnamurthy, a member of the Church of John Coltrane in Seattle. And next is Keith Schmidt, a social revolutionary. He trades plutonium on the black market, and he is lending Chechnyans, or leading Chechnyans, that should be, a little misspelling here, against the Russian army. Jim Rumpt is a football player. Andy Slater is their alternate. Bob Cox, their coach, that's the team, from Ridgefield High School. Our academic challenge judge is Mike Mastandria from Dallas, who is also the chief judge of the National Academic Championship, which will be held in Dallas and Washington, a tournament for which both of, both of these teams have qualified. Cynthia Michener is our official scorer from Texaco, and our uh, tournament directors are none other than Joan Gilbert and uh, Sue Aubrey of Community Relations. All right, players, we're ready now for the bonus round. As we mentioned earlier, Ridgefield has a five-point lead. Here is your first toss-up. It's worth 10 points. Ruth Simmons was recently named president of Smith College in Massachusetts. She's the first African-American to serve as president of an institution within what consortium, which many... Ridgefield brain. Uh, the five college area. Which many regard as the female equivalent of the Ivy League. Seven sisters? The seven sisters is right. Okay, Emily, David, Joe, and Keith, you have taken the lead again. Here is your music around the world bonus. I'll name the instrument and you name the country uh, with which it is most closely associated for five points, castanets. Spain? Sure. They get harder, we think. For ten points, marimba. Portugal? Oh, no. Richfield. Uh, Brazil? No, the marimba is associated with Mexico, that uh, xylophone-like instrument. Okay, we have a 10-point math toss-up. Give the equivalent co-function expression of the following trigonometric function. Tangent 35 degrees, 28 minutes. We need the equivalent co-function expression for 10 points and the bonus of tangent 35 degrees, 28. Richfield frame. The tangent of 215 degrees, 28 minutes. Irvington, the question is yours. Will be the cotangent of 54 degrees, 32 minutes. No score, I have a 10 pointer. Which type of Spanish is the official language of Spain? Richfield frame. Castellan? Castilian. Castilian is right for 10 points. Your hand tool bonus, Irvington, for five points if you bought an awl, A-W-L, what would you most likely do with it? Make a hole. You'd punch a hole in something, yes. For 10 points if you picked up an ads, A-D, 
DZE, you would most likely use it for what purpose? Filing. More specific. Cleaning. Having a flat. You what? Okay. Ridgefield. Your answer. Uh, to chop something. To cut. Not to chop something. Both of you had part of it. Wood and planing. We need to put those together. To plane wood or to dress wood or logs. So Irvington picked up five points on that bonus. Here's a 10-point musical toss-up. Name any three of the five instruments featured in this quintet by Schubert. Piano, violin, and cello. Is right for 10 points. Viola and double bass for the others. Let's see, Joe, you don't play a stringed instrument. Okay, but you listen to Franz Schubert, no doubt. Piano, violin, cello, and double bass in that trout quintet. Okay, Irvington, World War II. Let's see if you can get higher up the bonus ladder this time. For five points, which general, who commanded the German troops in North Africa during the Second World War, later committed suicide? Rommel. Erwin Rommel, yes. For ten points, whom did President Roosevelt call Uncle Joe? Stalin. Good. For 15 points, the third and fourth countries to fall to Germany in the 1940s were Luxembourg and the Netherlands. What were the fifth and sixth? France and Belgium. Good going, right. And for 20 points and a total of 50. In 1942, the Southeast Asian monarchy joined the Axis. Thailand. Thailand is right, a total of 50 points. Joe Edelman coming up with the assist on that one. Here's a five point toss up. Sometimes people refer to a danger that is not easily anticipated or avoided by the name for a trap made by digging a hole in the ground and concealing the opening. What is the metaphor? Pitfall. Pitfall is right. Irvington again finished the proverb is your bonus for five points. One hour's blank before midnight is worth two after. Fill in the blank. Your answer? Work. Sleep. Sleep is right. Keith knew that one. Okay, that's it for the bonus round. We'll be back with the 60 seconds round and these topics. The topics are molecular formula, Victoria, break the code, and the mystery category. Questions used on this program are provided by Questions Unlimited of Columbus, Ohio, America's largest supplier of questions and answers for academic competition. It's 60 seconds around time, players. That means you'll pick a subject. You've got one minute to answer as many 10-pointers as you can. Any questions missed or passed will be referred to your opponent. If you get them all right, we'll give you a 20-point bonus. Would really help your cause, Ridgefield, as you trail 60 to 145. So, Dan and company, what'll it be? Uh, Mr. Category. <coughs> The mystery category is roots. Start the clock, here we go. What does the root word in asynchronous and chronic mean? Time. Uh, what's the meaning of the root in, uh, or the prefix in oligosithymia, oligosopsony? Few. Yes. Uh, carnival and carnal. Flesh. Or meat. Dictator, diction, dictionary, dictaphone. Word. Vivid and survive. Life. Life. Or live. Audience and audiology. <coughs> Ear. Hearing. Ear. Hearing. Uh, renovate. Novelty. Renovation. New. Uh, malevolent and volition. Choice. 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 We'll take it. Uh, 
somnambulism, preamble, sleep, amble, hemisphere, hemiptera, hemidemi semiquaver. Uh. Is right. Okay, nice job, Mike Mistandria. 70 points. 70 points for Ridgefield on Roots. Okay, Irvington, a possible 30 for you. <laughs> Dictator, diction, dictionary, dictaphone. Speak. Or say, yes. How about somnambulism, preamble, amble, perambulator, Walk. and ambulance? Walk. Walk is right. And finally, audience and audiology. Ear. What did you say? Ear. Ear. Oh, it's here. H E A R. Okay, now, Irvington, it's your turn. <clears throat> um, break the code. Break the code for Irvington. Start the clock. Here we go. If the clue were 24H and a D, your answer would be hours in a day. Here are similar puzzles. Nine I in a B G. Nine innings in a baseball game. 206B in the B in the HB. 206B in the HB. Pass. 66B in the KJB. Pass. 10A in the B of R. 10 acts in the book of Revelation. 1760Y in a AM. In a M. Y years in, yards in a mile. Yes. 7C in the R. 7C in the R. And finally, 10, why? Okay, time runs out. Didn't work out for you, Irvington. Ridgefield, a chance to capitalize. If the clue were 24H and a D, your answer would be 24 hours in a day. Here are similar puzzles, 206B in the HB. Your answer? Don't have Bones in the human body, 66B in the KJB. <coughs> in the King James Bible, 10A in the B of R. 10 Acts in the Bill of Rights. Or 10 Amendments in the Bill of Rights. Uh, 7, 7C seven in the R. Your answer? 7th uh, country in the... In, in seven main colors in the world. rainbow. And 10Y, we didn't get to finish that one, Ridgefield. 10 years in a decade. That's what we're heading for, yes, 10 years and a decade, good. Well, that closes the book on the 60 Seconds Round. We'll be back with Stump the Experts. Don't you go away. It's Stump the Experts' time. That means questions are more difficult. The stakes are higher. 15 and 20-point questions. Players, make sure you don't answer until your name is called out and no consultation. Here we go with a 15-point art question. Look at your screen. In 1967, this Russian-French painter became the first... Richfield Frank. Kandinsky? Not Kandinsky. First living artist in this century to have a Louvre exhibit. Can you name him Irvington? Awesome. The answer is Mark Chagall. No score. For 15 points, with a population of more than one and a half million, Minsk is which country's largest city by far? Richfield, Jim. Belarus. Belarus. Well done, Jim. 15 points added to the Richfield score. I have a 20-pointer. 
Crochet patterns use three basic stitches, crochet, double crochet, and which linking stitch? The cross stitch. Not the cross stitch. Irvington? Which linking stitch? Box. No, it's the chain stitch. For 15 points, what adjective describes any solution in which the number of hydrogen ions... Richfield Frank. Acidic. Equals the number of hydroxide ions. Irvington, David. Neutral. Neutral is right. 15 points added to the Irvington score. Now I have a 20-point math question. What is the measure of an angle in radians? If it is in the first quadrant and has a sine of square root of 2 divided by 2. Pi over 4. Pi over 4. Give that man 20 points. Here's a 15-point music question. Among the stories that surrounded this particular writing team are that they never saw one another. Listen to this selection and identify... Gilbert and Sullivan. Is right. Can we hear a little bit of it, Ted? From HMS Pinafore. For 15 points, after the United States, which was the first nation in the Americas to declare its independence... Brazil. Haiti. From a European nation. Haiti is right. Ridgefield trails by only 15 points. And here's a 20-pointer. What adjective describes those periods that fell between the ice ages? Ridgefield Dan. Neolithic. Periods between the ice ages. Irvington for 20 points. Irvington, Emily. Interglacial. Interglacial is right for 20 points. I have now a 15-pointer. I have four characters in search of an author. Dromeo, Charles Darnay, Fitzwilliam Darcy, and Natasha Rostova. Match them with these authors. Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, William Shakespeare, and Leo... Charles Darnay is Dickens, Darcy is Austin, Giorgio is Shakespeare, and Rostova is the last author. Richfield, the question is complete. Mm -hmm. um, you never said the you last. Said oh, the last one, sorry, was Leo Tolstoy. Richfield Frank. Um, Dromeo is Shakespeare, Darnay is uh, Dickens, Darcy is Austin, Rostova is Tolstoy. Is right for 15 points. Here's a 20 pointer. Vanya on 42nd Street is David Mamet's adaptation of which writer's Uncle Vanya? 20 points on the line. Turgenev. Chekhov. Chekhov is right. That ties the score at 230. I have a 20 point art question. Who was the foremost representative of the drip tech? Jackson Pollock? Yes, Jackson Pollock. Ridgefield, once way behind, is now in the lead for 20 points at which Broadway theater is Sunset Boulevard running? Irvington Cho. The Minskoff Theater? Minskoff is right. That ties it up again. I have a 15-point math question. Get out your paper and pencil. Which term, beginning with the letter A, describes the relationship between a function f and a function g if the first derivative of f is equal to g? Algebraic inverses. Asymptotic. No, it's antiderivative. For 20 points, what is ironic about the fact that Jeanette Rankin became a congresswoman in 1917? Two minutes left. Richfield Key. Women were not yet allowed to vote. Is correct. Richfield back in the lead. I have a 15-point literature question. Identify Ralph Ellison's 1952... The Invisible Man. Is right for 15 points. For 15 points, a music question. Listen to this excerpt and identify both the group and the song title. The Beatles. When I'm 64. That's correct. Early to back in the lead. I have a 20 point question. In 1993, to which country did the Metropolitan Museum of Art agree to return the Lydian Hoard, a collection of gold and silver objects, probably. Richfield, Frank. Crete? 
Well, that's a good try. Probably belonging to King Croesus. Many of them stolen from the tomb shortly before the museum acquired them in the 1960s. Irvington? Go. Hungary? Well, the answer is Turkey. For 15 points, identify the principal enzyme of digestive juices. Richfield, Jim. Um, lipase? It's not lipase. Irvington? David. Catalase? No, it's pepsin. For 20 points, what novel set in a monastery takes readers through a labyrinth of twists and... The name of the rose? Is right for 20 points. For 20 points, in the presence of the oxygen molecule, the pyruvic acid formed in glycolysis is broken down further in which subcellular... Richfield brain is... Um, cellular respiration. Irvington? Joe. Respiration. No, the structure is mitochondrion. For 15 points, the Republican contract with America calls for term limits in both House and Senate. Under this bill, both houses would limit legislators to how many years... 12 years. 12 years is right for 15 points. There's the tone the contest is on. We'll check the score and announce the winner in just a moment. Each day in this world, 5,000 people become infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Don't become one of them. Use a condom every time you have sex. Every time. Don't make it 5,001. Please support the American Foundation for AIDS Research. This ad has been brought to you by Cable Positive and your local cable operator. What a match. They won it on the final question, the final 290 Ridgefield, 295 Irvington, the winners, Irvington High School. Our congratulations to Ridgefield. They had a 3 and one record. They've already won a couple tournaments. And so, Ridgefield, we hope to see you in Washington at the National Academic Championship. Irvington, in this competition, you advance to the semifinals. You'll be playing New Rochelle. This is Chip Beal, your host, inviting you to be with us next time as Alexander Hamilton takes on Ardsley High. See you there.